Hello, today I have a chance to work on my Scorpion again. Um, in my last video, I said I will change the safety selector. So here you go, I, I print it. And uh, I'm going to change it. And I showed you guys how to change it. Uh, you can see that there's a marker here. Um, actually, uh, I will keep the left side and I only change the right side because uh, only the right side gives me a problem because uh, when you put on the fire position it will hit the finger um, so you see that it just when the, when, the, when the gun when you shoot so basically sometimes you hit the finger here uh, it's not really hurt but it's just annoying uh, so I'm going to change this out so Instead of changing both sides, I only change the right sides. So be, before you change this, uh, you need to do a few things. First, uh, remove the, the magazine. So second thing you need to do is uh, you have to rack it. And do, do like this. So leave the bolt open. You have to do that because uh, you won't able to remove the lower. Um, also, you have to uh, do the takedown pin. So just punch it. Uh, you you may need the tools, but uh, so in depends on uh, your your scorpion. Some scorpion need the tools to to punch it out, and uh, I I I could just pull it out, pull all the way out. So so the next thing is that you have to loose up the uh, your 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 grip a little bit. But uh, also it depends on uh, how tight it is. Uh, this is pretty tight. This is a map one, so I have to loose it up a little bit. Um, you could try it first before loose it up, but uh, I, I know it is better to loose it up a little bit. So just just a little. And then you should. Okay, last thing you need to do is put it on fire. Uh, you don't. You could do it later, but uh, I just go ahead to do it now. Uh, I will tell you why you need to put on fire. And, and that's it. You could pull this out. So this is your lower, and you could see that uh, there's a set screw here on both sides. Uh, to save time for the video, I removed the the right side already. Um, it's pretty easy to remove it. Um, you just need to get the right tools. You see this? So, uh, it's it's a little bit hard to put it back because you have to light up the hole. Uh, I find that uh, you you have better to to light it up on the on the left side first. You can see that uh, there's a hole here. Uh, there's a set screw here. You you put on the right the 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 position, the right position. That was the fire position. So, and and then you remove this. After you remove the set screw, you you remove the the one you want to change. And you should see, you should see the um the hole here. And then you 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 put the set screw in. I will tell you why you need to do this. Uh, because it's really hard to light it up later on, because the the, the left side is keep moving. You see, uh, when when you try to find uh, light it up for the right side, so you have better do it now. So the reason why I put the set screw a little bit in. Because uh, you could you have chance because now you know it's right, and then you put uh, the mask tape. You don't have to do that if you if you if you could get it uh, in the first time, but I have hard time to get it right, and uh, in order to save time, I just tape it. Um, so instead of wasting few minutes to light it up, and you have you may have chance to. To strip the the hole, if you if you force it in, so I don't. Then you, if you strip if you if you strip it, you have to change the whole um, safety. So I don't think you want to take that risk. 
so we just just make it secure okay so just like that you you take the left side and then change the right side and now you could you could take that side screw out So this is the original one. Um, it was like that. So, so don't don't. Uh, I just showed you. Don't don't move it because uh, we, you don't want to change the the position on the left side. Just pull it up. Okay. So I showed you the the one I print. They are print by the resin. Um, it's uh, from the FLA printer. Uh, the quality is pretty light. And it's pretty strong. So, and then, of course, I will not use this color. Uh, some of them are, are the right side. Some of them have different height. Um, so this is the end port. I I paint it um, with the with the high temperature paint. So should I paint? This paint I, I bought from uh, Home Depot. It's like eight dollars. It's not the cheap paint, but you you want a better paint for for this because uh, this is uh, considered as a gun part. So, um, and I think the better paint looks better too. Uh, if you buy the one dollar spray paint, I think you will have a uh, more scratch or, or or it may peel off later on. So. This is the high temperature paint. Um, it's the most expensive I could buy over there, so I just give it a try and it gave me good result. Actually, it looked like a uh, metal. Uh, so yeah, let's start to put it back. Uh, so just you see that, that there's a hole here. It's already light up because uh, the side is light up. Uh, because we, we put a set screw there. And then we know this is the right uh, angle. Um, when you put it, so you you put the, the the hole, and then and then lie up to that gap over there. And then you need to apply some pressure uh, to 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 work to that side. and try to not strip it uh, if you find there's a, like a lot of resistance don't 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 try too hard um, you, you could strip the hole and then you have to change the whole safety i don't know how much i, I don't think it will be expensive but uh but uh just try not to damage the the hole and yeah, go all the way in when you feel it's uh, there's a resistance, then it should be okay. Yep, yep, that's it. And then we move the 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 mask tape. And now you could test it before you put it back to the lower. Um, if this is the fire position, so put in the the safe position um, you should not uh, when you're testing it put your finger here so don't cause any damage on your on your lower uh, this is the safe position yeah you see it couldn't fire this is a fire position yep yep it works so let me put it back So I I will show you uh, after I put it back. I will show you the uh, functionality. Um, so when you put it back, do the same thing like this. Just take your time. Uh, it should be easy to put it back. Um, See that just just take your time you, you, and put that back and put this back and 
It's pretty easy. Uh, you should be able to do it. Um, So, okay, this is file position. Oh, uh, let me do the safety check. Yeah. Okay, and fire. Okay, now we'll test this one. See this? And couldn't fire. And then that, see this? Okay, so the lights. Thing about the AK style is I could flip it with my trigger finger. Let me try that. Yeah, and then do it. Okay, I need to wreck it. Okay. So do it. Save. Gonna save. Fire. Yep. It works. So, yeah, let me put the magazine back and I'll show you how it looks like. So, this is how it looks like. Yeah. You could compare like uh, the color. Um, actually, it look really close to the metal. Yeah. And you can see this. Uh, I cannot even tell if I don't look really close to it. You left. You may not figure out this is three D print one. Yeah. And the three D print material is pretty strong. And see that I cannot even bend from this side. Yeah. And uh, the hole is is perfect. Uh, it's better than the FDM. Uh, if you guys don't know the um, what FDM printer, uh, you could uh, look up on Google. Uh, this is a SLA printer, a uh, resin printer. Um, uh, the cost is like, I think it's like, um, I guess, less than 50 cents. I could say it's around 10 cents. So it's, it's way cheaper than uh, you buy it. Um, from online, but uh, it takes time. I mean, you need a printer, and then you need to print it, and you need to you need to paint it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my video. Um, if you have any question or you want me to do anything for this scorpion or other guns, uh, I have you could uh, leave a message, um, leave a comment below. Um, thank you for watching.